Hey everyone, Techni here. And what we're gonna do today is kind of a remodel or redesign of my current PC. Now some of the parts we will be using in this build. And again, like I stated before, some of these are coming from my current PC and going into here. But anyways, we're gonna start off with the Sapphire Vega 64 graphics card. I absolutely love this thing. Then we're gonna be using Corsair 275R case, the white one. As you can see, I don't know if you're catching on already, we're gonna be going for a white, black, and red theme. It's gonna look real sharp. Go with the Corsair H60 AIO, and this thing is absolutely fantastic. You can scoop this thing up for sometimes right around 50 bucks give or take right we'll be using the msi gaming plus b450 motherboard really nice kind of going a little more aesthetics here the uh, black and red theme you know so i don't know maybe this is a cosmetic change you know as you can see over here we got some uh, sleeved cables some pcis and their powers whatnot really nice black and red uh, course here right down here we're gonna be taking the same processor out of it which is an amd ryzen 5 2600 out of the pc there then we got the uh, power supply as a corsair rm 850x fully modular much easier to work with and then we have three boxes of uh, sp120 fans it's actually two boxes of performance and then one box of quiet because i run those straight into the power supply right there and again so that'll make six fans total and then down here i got some leds too just to light it up on the inside i think it's gonna look really sharp and again i'm kind of going for that black red and white theme so uh yeah, we'll see how it turns out. Look at this. I'm cleaning off the table here. I forgot to mention my RAM that was hiding over there. I got some Corsair Vengeance 3200, two sticks of eight, making 16 gigabytes, and I got the white version, which I think is going to look really awesome on the uh, black and red motherboard with the white case and everything. So I think that's going to look really sharp in there. All right, so we want to double check, make sure we got all of our necessary tools over here. Now we have our drill to get that motherboard down nice and tight. A couple extra wires just in case. You never know when you need extra wires, right? Got us some nice uh, wire cutters here, then a hammer just to make sure everything things down nice and secure especially for that processors again we're gonna want that thing in there really nice and then of course we have some bug spray I mean come on we don't want any bugs in this system right so let's get started I'm over here taking everything apart out of my current PC to do the swap and I just realized I totally forgot to mention what I'm using for storage. Anyways, I have one terabyte Samsung SSD up here and then a 240 gigabyte uh, SSD. I don't even know what brand it is. That one actually came with my pre-built so I just figured, heck, just leave it in there. Probably about time to get another SSD actually. And then I use a 500 gigabyte Western Digital NVMe SSD and I put my operating system and then maybe a prime game or two on this. Let's get back to work.
finally done. Good night, I am exhausted now. But let me tell you what, in my personal opinion, I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, between the black, white, and red, it looks so good. There's a couple of hiccups I had, like uh, those uh, braided cables right there. Those are pretty tough to get in those little things and get a line real sharp. Like you see pictures and they look absolutely just perfect lines, you know. It was pretty tough getting those. I Mine aren't perfect by any means, but even that little bit that I had was pretty tough. But I think everything really flows really good. This case, let me tell you what, this case is absolutely fantastic. I think it was like 80 bucks, but the wire management, there's little hooks in there to route, route the, you know, your exhaust fan and all sorts of stuff, even on the back here to route the RGB controller if you had one. Incredibly fantastic wire management. Now, as you probably noticed earlier down there when I was doing the wire management, putting the PSU in, I did take out the little box for the uh, hard drives and whatnot because I figured, you know what, I'm going to all use is SSDs and the NVMe and I got more spots for SSDs back there. So let me just save a little bit of space for wire management and let me tell you what, it made it so much much easier. Now as far as one thing I don't like, I gotta say it's my SP120 fans and you can probably see it right there, like right here you see that little gray and they're really nice fans. I mean they've got that whole thing in the middle there, it's like this rubber gasket so you don't get any vibration or anything getting screws or your case or anything. So fantastic fans but that gray just kind of, I don't know, I just, I don't like it. It just throws me off a little bit so more than likely I'll probably get on the hunt for some different fans or find a way to cover that up so it's just solid black. Now for the moment of truth, let's go on and plug it up and hopefully it turns on. All right, so here we go. Let's go on and fire it up real quick here and see what we get. Perfect. But now I gotta get into the not so fun stuff. Plug it in there, get into BIOS, get everything installed. I need to turn these dang fans down. I mean, these things are loud. All right, so we are all set up. I'm not sure how well you guys can see this, but anyways, we got BIOS loaded up and everything. You can see we got XMP on, so our RAM is hitting that 3200. And I just adjusted all the fans, got everything pretty much running at 1200 RPM. And it's got a really nice flow. You still hear them a little bit. All right, so we're all loaded up in here. We're gonna test out some games, but you know what I just realized we're missing? And also some of that heat I kind of feel coming down on me and some of that sound. We forgot the old Techni Makes uh, fan heat deflector, huh? How about that? Look at that. That guy right up there. That's a, that's a classic Techni, by the way. That's a classic Techni video. Hey, I'll leave it down in the link. It's an old one, but hey, it works. All right, we're in some Battlefield 5 right now. We're at 1440p, and I just set it straight up on high settings. I didn't go in there and adjust anything. So again, it's just straight high settings, 1440p. And right now, it's popping around the high 90s right now. Let's see what happens when we get in somewhere and get moving. So we're getting down into the low 90s, mid 90s. I'm gonna find something to see what happens here. So we're hitting the hundreds now, we're getting into the hundreds. Soldiers, we have taken objective Anton. Can't find anybody. I hear them. Be aware, we have lost objective Anton. I think they're up here at B. I don't know where that came from. All right, so we got some Rainbow Six going here. Now, I have not played this game in quite some time. So I don't even remember what button does what. I got that on ultra ultra settings by the way. I'm at right now I'm at 180, 190, 200. Of course this game doesn't demand much, but uh, how do I drop my there you go. What button I press. Oh there we go. I haven't played this game in so long. All right, so now we're in Division 2, one of my current favorite games, and I absolutely love it. Now, this game's always been a little bit tough for me to run. You know, I got to adjust a lot of the settings in there. I got some of it on ultra, some of it on high, and some of it on medium, you know. Obviously, as you can tell, I don't know how well you can see it in the camera, but I got a whole lot of vegetation. I think that's one of the things I have on ultra, which I should probably change, um, because, again, this has been pretty tough. What are we at right now? Uh, 70... So 75, but we drop down into the high 60s. We don't drop below that. I think the, the lowest we hit 
uh, where I can't see. So the lowest we hit really is around 68 on this, but um, again, I can drop this vegetation down quite Friendly a bit because I have an detected. absolute, looks like I'm just running around a stinking forest here. So all in all, I'm very happy with the results here. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Like I'm gonna be staring at this more than I'm staring at my game, you know? All right, so now I have changed everything out of my pre-built PC that I started on. The only thing I have in there from that is again, that 240 gigabyte SSD that's in there. But other than that, everything is changed and i honestly love it so i guess now do i get to call it a built pc like i built my own pc it's not a pre-built anymore i think i can say that now huh but hey please do let me know down in the comments what you think about uh this build here again you guys know i love black white and red so this just suits me absolutely perfect sure maybe i need to change the fans right there but please do let me know down in the comments what you think about it what you would have done different or whatnot but hey thank you so much for watching this one i highly appreciate it if you liked it hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos and again we do have a budget build coming up pretty soon probably within the next week or two we'll have that budget build so that should be a pretty exciting one as well but hey again I highly appreciate it and thank you for stopping by. Catch you later. Bye now.